Good day. Um, today we're going to do the second um, revision activity. So lesson plan two, grade two, term two. Um, here you can pause and you can have a look at the link to the caps. Then I'm going to scroll down. Um, you need then to prepare these resources. And then for the dictionary part, um, it's for your knowledge as teacher or parent so you can support your child. Um, I want you to pause and have a look at this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the daily routine, the counting and the mental mathematics. Remember here again, we're going to ask question, whose birthday is it? What um, is today's date? What time is it? Um, describe the weather outside, stand up, show me up, down, left, right, and then who's absent. So you're going to pause and you're going to do this activity. Then we're going to look at the counting activity. So we're going to count in tens from 0 to 150. Again, what you need to do is you need to do it concretely where possible by using objects. Or you can use our SA Teacher counting library that's available on our SA Teacher eStore.co.za. Um, and then you're going to do the rhyme where you're going to count in tens. Um, up to 150, you're going to count forwards and backwards. I want you to pause and then do this activity. Then for the mental mathematics, um, the mental mathematics um, again is you have the 10 questions that you need the to ask the child orally. The child can then give you the answer orally or write it down. You're going to do it, you're going to pause it and you're going to check the answers. Okay, so we're going to go to the lesson today. So today, um, the previous lesson, what we did is we made use of base 10 blocks, but we can also make use of beads. Um, use either or. Um, if you have both, um, it's just a bonus. Um, so again, as we're going to count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, um, I had a friend that did a beautiful example of a child last night where she used popcorn. So she colored the first 10 and then she did the next 10. So there's various things that you can use and try to be creative. Um, you can also go and pack different stones outside and then form this pattern. Then we have our flat cards again. So it's where we place the unit cards on the tens card. To make the reading of numbers easier because we work in the decimal system and then we're going to look at 2d shapes so just to give you an overview again is we are going to count a variety of objects that we have already done in the counting activity um, we're going to use a uh, flawed codes uh, where we can add then tens and units um, it's very nice if you have all the tens and all the units and you could do a quick activity like here where we say 23 equals to 20 plus 3. Or we say 20 plus 7 equals to 27. So do it from both directions. Give the answer. They need to give you then the the, the place value, the expanded, or we call it expanded notation, 20 plus 3. And then you can give them 20 plus 7 and they need to tell you it's 27. Uh, then what we can do is um, always keep this handy and you can do this over time where you have make um, cards with the numbers 0 to 100 on them and you can use this then to read the symbols. Then um, very important 100 board here again is you can email us at info at sateacher.co.za so we can send you some number boards. Um, the first one you can see where we count in twos. So as we count in twos, we showed on the number board. Here we count in fives and here we count in tens. Very important so learners start seeing these patterns on the boards. Then lastly, we're going to do, look at 2D shapes. Um, and we will do that later on and you can do it on your worksheet. So let's just look at the different levels again. So you might have done all the activities already, but if your child is struggling, always go back to the concrete 
moving to the representative. This is just what we did in the previous lesson. You pack out the blocks and they show you the number um, with the flat cards or the base 10 cards. So here we got 23 and you show it then with the cards 23. Remember that they say then to you 20 plus 3 equals 23 or 23 equals to 20 plus 3. Um, here we're going to read numbers and we work in ones, tens and twos. Again, yes, you can use your hundred boards for that. And then lastly, we're going to look at shapes. So um, draw shapes, um, ask them to draw a lot of circles on a page, then triangles, squares, rectangles. Doesn't have to be 100% perfect at this stage. Um, if you have a stencil, it's nice. But there is nothing wrong to do it freehand. After that, they did the drawings, let them explain to you what it is. And make use of words like big circles, small circles, medium circles. Then we're going to carry on with the worksheet. So I'm going to scroll through it. You just follow the instructions and you complete it. Here are very nice activities on shapes. Um, here again is if you need to color in a specific color and you don't have it at home, um, maybe we only have one pen or one color, um, then make all the triangles, show them by just making stripes on them. Um, the rectangles just make little dots on them. Um, so there's a different options and different things that you can do if you don't have all the resources at home. Then lastly, we come to the problem solving. Um, that again is what we did in the first term. Um, you can again visit SA Teacher eStore for that. Um, and then lastly, the consolidation. If, it, if you tick all the greens, you carry on with the next lesson. If you've got some red and oranges, you need to revisit, revise certain activities and questions or contact us at SA Teacher. Mm -hmm.